you have been elected uh, second time from Karnataka. What is what are your uh, uh, like uh, uh, what, what would you contribution to, contributions for this project? There what has been, 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 been my contribution? There has been a series of criticism by opposition parties saying every time a chief minister or the uh, government should take a begging call and go to Delhi for the grants and everything. I'm not sure if those statements are said, keeping facts before them. If they actually keep the facts, they might want to reconsider their statements. Uh, in your first time, you've implemented a few projects. In your second time, anything that you have in mind specifically? I'll have to continue with some of the projects which I've announced in the last term, which because of the COVID, I couldn't uh, take it up forward. And also the recent announcement of the 75 lake rejuvenation in uh, Kolar district on priority. I have been in consultation with the Honorable Chief Minister on making sure the North Karnataka coarse grain producing farmers get uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know support because uh, next year is going to be the International Year of Millets. I want Karnataka to be able to stand up as the top millet not only producing but processing state. So these are some initial uh, projects which I'm talking about. But as we go along, I'll be able to expand. Ma'am, as far as as far as the project uh, funds are concerned, are you looking after the state to implement much more funds to the state to go ahead with other project works? In what way? In many projects, because the state is a revenue center as far as the financial aid is concerned. I'll definitely look after every state. Inclusive of Karnataka. Thank you. Thank you very much. News first. Pratikshana.